Assalamu alaikum gems. For those who are new here, my name is Chloe and in today's video I'm going to talk about why I became a Muslim. Some of you may already know the story because I did film it uh, around almost six years ago. <laughs> the date is a little foggy because I never, I never recorded or remembered when I became a Muslim and I filmed that video a little after. So I'm re-filming it because the other video just had too many personal details and I'm just not about that anymore but I still want to share the story just less info. I'm currently 23 and I became a Muslim a little after I turned 19. It was around end of January, early February, like yeah almost six years ago. To give a little history uh, so you can understand how I got to the point of being Muslim. I grew up Christian. I believed uh, in Christianity for I would say up until I was a teenager and then I started to question things because I was not just part of some Sunday school kids stuff. I was hearing the what are the sermons. I was listening to conversations, I was being more involved in I guess learning. Now what led me away from Christianity was the faith itself. I never could grasp or understand the Holy Trinity. It just did not click in my head for me. None of it made sense and it, for me personally I've always believed that it was a very big contradiction. A big thing for me was I would constantly ask people about Jesus. I could not understand how a human being could be part of God as well as being the son of himself as well as himself and I was like wait a minute you know like what? I did believe that there was a reason for our existence. I believed in God but I just the Jesus thing just made no sense and I decided okay I'm not a Christian I'm not anything but part of me was pretty much like I still believe there's a God but I didn't know that there was a faith for what I believed in by my own reasoning. Another big part was just to add this in was anyone I asked questions to would tell me uh, when they couldn't give me a solid answer that was not only logical but explained it in a way where it made sense it wasn't a contradiction and when they couldn't answer my questions they would tell me to have blind faith that we don't have to understand and I was like um, no, I would like to understand what I'm supposed to be believing in, you know. I was constantly put, getting into situations which made me just want to leave even more to eventually just leaving. That all having happened, this led into me just slipping down a slope into having confusion, not having something to answer my questions, nothing to help me face the situations I was in uh, in life. I didn't have something that pushed me forward and gave me a strong mentality and all those things. So with, with all of that, eventually I made a few choices in life that were just ones you just shouldn't be taking. I was surrounded by other people who were also in that kind of state of mind and this bad lifestyle that we all lived was kind of seen as normal. Gosh, as early as 13 people were like, cool for harming themselves and I'm sorry to say that but like it that was the weirdest thing to witness at 13 and later on in life look back and be like um that's messed up confusion downhill doing stupid things uh and no rock to hold on with all of this adding and piling up that did lead me to making a choice where I was in hospital um, unfortunately. Thankfully I was too dumb to know what I was doing and I was perfectly fine so 
no worries about that. Because of that decision, where it led me to, someone I knew at the time found out and I guess asked me what I believed in and I said I just don't believe in anything. I didn't really expand to this person that I did believe in God because I just didn't want it to be like a, oh, here's Christianity to save you and I knew that was not going to work. Surprisingly though, they sent me an Islamic video which was someone, an atheist, asking Dr. Zakir Naik a couple questions that I personally had and I'm pretty sure in the video it expanded on the Islamic view of Jesus as well. So. <laughs> It was like the answer to everything that I was questioning and believed in all in one go. And I knew from that very moment of watching that video, like I am a Muslim, like this is what I believe in, this is my, my thing, you know. This is what I've been looking for for years. After watching that video, that led me into a rabbit hole of just watching so many videos, looking online at so many different sites and things and eventually, not long after actually, probably a couple of days, I took the Shahada in the privacy of my room. I had no clue where a mosque was, I had no clue about communities or anyone. I just looked up if it's okay to do it uh, alone and they were like, yes, you can do your shahada alone. As long as Allah knows like you, you made the shahada, that's good enough. That's how I ended up becoming a Muslim, the simplified shortened version. But why, why it worked for me was definitely this growing up and being brought up to have your own thoughts and opinions really led me towards my ability as an individual to question what was being taught to me in church, knowing I'm allowed to form an opinion, to question things, have my own beliefs, you know. A lot had to do with my mum giving me that freedom. It was never, this is how it is with her. She's a very good parent in that way where we can always explore, see what the world has to offer and educate ourselves about many different things, not what she tells us. Growing up in that type of way, that sense, helped me to find Islam. Even though, you know, as this person introduced it to me, I was able to, of my own belief, say, you know, that's what I believe in, that makes sense to me. Becoming Muslim and having Islam in my life, it helped me basically avoid and get rid of people who were not good influences in my life. I was able to uh, learn about what is harmful, what's beneficial, shape my lifestyle into something that was helping me become a happier, better person who was more mentally strong and able to take on every bad thing. I was in a way, I had no excuse to not find the positives in every situation. I've come across, you know, I'm I'm still human, like things can still get to me, but I'm more equipped to, you know, not just give up or just view something as completely horrible. There's always something great you can take out of a situation. And this has helped me become a happier, better person obviously not perfect, I still have my flaws, but it has been that rock in life to hold on to that I've been looking for. It's brought me so many new amazing friends. Some might not still be friends now, but they've helped shape my life. Some people we don't talk as much as we used to, but they're They've made more of an impact on me in that short amount of time than like three years of friendship with someone from school, you know? We, my family and I went through a really big hardship and it was the Muslim community that came together for us, which was for me a blessing for my family to be able to see that we have that support and that we can be that support 
and have such a tight community. And so I could go on and on about how, how good uh, Islam has been for my life. That's pretty much how I ended up becoming a Muslim and why it stuck and it wasn't just a phase as much as many people tried to tell me uh, around the first year. I hope this helps put my my story I guess out there. I hope you guys can take away something from this or relate in any way. Every Everyone has such a different story but they're also beautiful and unique in their own ways. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you want to see videos on how I met my husband or the vlog of the place where I'm at today, they're all on Patreon, link in the description. Yeah, and with all of that being said, this is going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to know when the next video is out, and with all of this having been done and said, may Allah bless you and your family.